Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have a copy of it, you can get um, a 30-day trial version off of Adobe's website. Uh, it's really easy. Just create an account and download. Okay, once you have it open, you're going to create just a plain uh, print document or web document. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to select the star tool. Now just drag anywhere on it. Now use the up and down arrow keys to add more points and hold control and use the mouse to uh, sharpen the points or make them smaller. Like that. Okay, make it as big as you want. Now, if you don't have it open already, use your select your gradient tool. Click on the right edge to, and open up your color palette. It should open up automatically. Switch it to light green blue and select the color that you want. And it should automatically open um, input to the gradient palette. Now open up the gradient palette again if it's still not open and switch the degrees to about 320 that should make it so it's diagonal okay now you're going to select it copy it to your clipboard and copy and paste it on top so you're going to hit control F once you have it on your clipboard now select the top or yeah, select the top uh, layer and draw a line through it with either the pen tool or the pencil tool. Just make it like curvy, and if it makes color, just uh, click the uh, normal black border. Just okay. Now select the top half, or yeah, the top layer and the line and open up Pathfinder and click divide. Now select the bottom half and delete it. So now you should have the top half of the layer and the whole bottom half or the whole bottom layer. Now select object and offset uh, path and type in negative two millimeters. Now select the bigger half of the circle and delete it. So leaving you with the entire entire bottom layer and the smaller top half. Now select the smaller top half. Don't worry about those black lines. We'll get them. We'll get rid of them later. Select the top half, the smaller top half, and go to Window Transparency. Now select from the drop down menu screen. Okay, now go to your gradient tool again. Now select two seven two hundred and seventy degrees for it to go straight up and down, which is a normal glossy look. And use the slider the top bar of the slider on the gradient to make it uh, whatever you want, uh, how glossy you want it. Then select on Pathfinder, Merge, and that will get rid of the border lines that we saw before. Now you're done. You can enter text if you want. It doesn't matter. Once you enter the text, you can go into 3D tools, and that will rotate the text or even make it 3D if you want. So thanks for watching my tutorial, and thanks.